One thing we need to show you before we get into the next section, which is to change from exponential to logarithmic, is basically the connection of where the parts go. So if you look, uh, written as a logarithm, uh, your exponent, your exponent of 2 in your exponential function is actually what your log is equal to. So you can see that uh, here, 3. 3, that becomes our exponent. And then uh, over on this problem right here, you can see our exponent of x. Uh, is what it's equal to. So kind of keep that in mind because when we go from logarithm to exponential function you'll want to keep track of what number becomes your base, what number becomes your exponent when you go from one to the other. So hopefully you'll make that connection as we do more. Let's look at uh, the other way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go from exponential functions to logarithms. So right now we have the 12 to the second power is equal to x. Now we all know right now you can look at that and tell that it's 144 but we're not working on that right now. What we're trying to do is go from one to the other because when we get into equations, you won't just be able to look at the problem often and be able to figure out what the answer is. So what we're going to do, since it's right now written as an exponential function, if I want to get out of an exponential function, I'm going to use the log. I want the logarithm and the exponential function to have the same base. So the logarithmic equivalents to the problem we started with, those will cancel. So our answer is going to be 2 is equal to the log base 12 of x. And you can kind of see where the parts connect. So if you have 12 to the second power is equal to x, when you rewrite that as a logarithm, you'll have log base 12 of x is equal to 2. So the important thing is to say 12 to what power will give us 2. And of course, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll figure that out. Or I, might, I said that wrong. Let me try that again. Uh, it will be uh, yeah, 12 to the second power will give us 144. So let's see if we can't look at the next one. We're going to take the log base B of both sides. Over here, what's going to cancel is uh, this right here. We chose the same, the base of our logarithm to be the base of our exponential function. So we get 3 is equal to the log base b of 8. So it's basically 2 to, uh, I mean not 2, but um, b to the third power will give us 8. So you can rewrite it as a logarithm to hopefully help you out. And this last one, we'll look at this and we'll do the log base e of e to the y power is equal to the log base e of 9. So when we simplify this, hopefully you can see these will cancel. It'll leave us y is equal to the log base e of 9. So that's how to change from an exponential function to a logarithm. And again, we'll try to see how these skills are going to be applied to uh, equations and how we can solve these. But now we're just kind of learning the basic skills. And what we will also learn is that we won't write this uh, when we're dealing with logarithms. There's a special thing that we use for log base e.